There you have it, the release has been commanded. So at this point, Snare is beginning to roll back and release Cygnus. Snares open, begin monitoring for drift out. And with the snares now open, Cygnus has been released. Uh, coming at 8.36 a.m. Central Time, 9.36 a.m. Eastern Time. So the station was flying 268 statute miles over the South Pacific, just off the west coast of Chile. And now you can see Cygnus slowly starting to float away from the grasp of that robotic arm. They're going to begin backing the arm away until it's about four and a half meters away, and then it'll be over to Drew Morgan to command Cygnus to depart. You'll see the capture point on Cygnus come into view. That's where the robotic arms latching end effector, essentially the hand of the device, latches onto when capturing the vehicle. Station on two, pin has exited delay. Copy, Drew. Proceeding with back away. And now that Drew Morgan has reported the pin, so the central portion of that capture device has exited. The robotic arm itself, the ground controllers here in Houston now backing the arm away. Drew Morgan standing by and looking at a number of different displays. Once he sees the back away at a distance of about four and a half meters, he'll be go to command Cygnus to depart. Back away in progress. And Cygnus still in free drift, seeming to just hang there in the air. The robotic arm slowly backing away. Again, we're looking for a distance of about four and a half meters away. And then we'll see Cygnus start to fire its engines and fly away from the station. The departure burn will last for about three minutes. That'll be sending Cygnus away. Its first gate that it'll depart through is what's known as the keep out sphere. Station on two, arm to vehicle clearance approximately 1.5 meters. Houston, copy. Arm about one and a half meters away, so about three meters to go. The arm continuing to back away. Again, we're looking for a distance of about four and a half meters. For now, Cygnus still in free drift. Once we hit that distance, Drew Morgan will send the command to begin the departure burn and send Cygnus away from the station.
Houston Station on Q, signals depart commanded and confirmed. We copy, see the same, and back away is complete. And the departure burn has begun. Again, this expected to last about three minutes. Signals departure burn is in progress. Monitor departure burn, step five and one decimal six oh two. And now So we've got about two minutes left in this departure burn. You can see Cygnus flying away from the station now. The next major call we're going to be looking out for is when Cygnus has exited the keep-out sphere. The keep-out sphere is an imaginary sphere with about 200 meters in radius all around the International Space Station. It's one of a number of checkpoints that visiting vehicles pass through when they're coming and going from the orbiting laboratory. As long as you are outside of the keep out sphere, you need to be sure that you are what's called um, abort fail tolerant for at least four orbits around the Earth. So what that means is once you're outside that keep out sphere and as long as you are outside, you have to be sure that your spacecraft is in a trajectory that for at least four orbits around the Earth or about six hours, you're not going to move back inside of that keep out sphere. Obviously very important on the way up and they do a number of checkouts on vehicles as they're approaching the station just to make sure everything is fine before they pass through that and are no longer that four orbit safe. So for now, it's going to continue to fly away and we'll keep an ear out for once it's outside the keep out sphere. That'll be the first of two major checkpoints it's going to pass through today. Uh, the second will be the approach ellipsoid. That's a little bit more um, different of a shape. It has a a shape of about um, four kilometers by two by two. It's ellipsoid around the International Space Station. And that one is a lot of the same rules as the keep out sphere, but it's just a little more strict where that one's 24 hours safe. So a vehicle has to be on a, a free or a, um, a, a trajectory where for at least 24 hours, it would not be moving inside of that approach ellipsoid. Uh, that is expected to take about 20 minutes after this departure burn. So we'll continue to follow along and should hopefully get good views of Cygnus as it exits the neighborhood around the station and gets ready for its secondary mission.